sorry. Do am I turning toward the camera as much as possible? I have some fun with this, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. I like it. Okay. Close it. Chris, Lopi, Preet. All right. I think I'll start that again. Well, it's been an interesting journey. Would you rather be a part or a part? It's an evening. <laughs> yeah, my mom swears nobody was being actually when I was born. A show, and I show them, and they were all just like, ah. Oh. Yeah, not afraid to go off script. We'll just have some fun. Well, good evening, and welcome to Inside the Eclipse Studio. This is an ongoing series of interviews that we've been conducting over the last three years with the uh, actors and actresses uh, in the Santa Clarita Valley engaged in productions. In this case, it's uh, The Real Housewives of Troy. And uh, now we are interviewing Abby Bowling, who's a member of the cast. So, Abby, welcome. This is our first time talking first to time. each other. First time, yes. Well, I'm very excited to uh, talk to you. So tell me, how did you get started in the entertainment business? I majored in theater in college many years ago. And uh, uh, it wasn't until my senior year that I directed a show and I kind of changed my idea about what I wanted to do in the theater. So I got an internship in, in Central California um, doing non-acting work. And uh, actually the last time I acted in my younger days was with that theater because our we did line the witch in the wardrobe and our susan got strep throat on opening weekend so i filled in for her because i'm short and i knew all the lines uh and then uh i lost my confidence i i i didn't have confidence i i felt unprepared i felt not ready and uh, i ended up working in um uh web design and then when my daughter uh, when she was seven, she started a, a summer workshop at a local theater here and just loved it. And just stepping inside that theater again after, you know, in a real working theater after having been gone for so long, uh, just it felt like home. It felt great. I had a different set of expectations for myself. So a couple years later, when my kids were a little older, she convinced me to audition for a show with her. And we were both cast, and it was the same exact script of The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Oh, that's um, amazing. Yes, wow. and she she got the part of Lucy, and I played Mrs. Beaver. And 22 years after last having been on stage, playing a role that was um, very much the comic relief, was it just felt wonderful. And my daughter, honestly, I, watching her be so confident helped me, so. If you don't mind me asking, you said you lost your confidence, and I, let me preface, before your answer, let me say that's not uncommon. Right. And I think with, with most of us, uh, it goes in waves, you know, and it's obviously, it's not a bad thing, it's actually something you have to work through. Was it, uh, was there any one thing that made you lose your confidence? I never really had a ton of confidence in myself. I, singing was the only time that I felt I owned wherever it was because I'm, I'm a belter. I'm, I can sing pretty well, and uh, so I never, I never had a lack of confidence when I was singing. But um, stage work, acting, I think when I got to college and I was in class amidst all these other really talented people who seemingly had no hang-ups, no, no issues with confidence. It was almost uh, being in the presence of their confidence made me question my own. Does that make sense? So it oh, was, yeah. I don't think it was one particular situation at all. No, I actually, um, I get it. I yeah. get it. And that's the interesting thing. We're very subjective right. about that sort of thing. I think, but the wonderful thing is, is that you found a, a way to get back into it and a very rewarding right. thing. Sounds to me like you found a way to do it for the love of it. Yeah, and I had made a... a a promise to my kids that I wouldn't ever audition for something that they weren't also doing because, you know, my kids were younger. I didn't want to, you know, be gone and just have babysitters. My husband has a job that works all hours, so, um, or have to drag them to every rehearsal. That's not necessarily fun for everybody. Uh, and just recently, I asked my daughter, how would you feel if I did a show without you? Because she's the only one that kind of stuck with it. And she's like, go for it. So I did two shows recently that she wasn't in, and she said, it's very weird to, to watch you from the audience and not from the <laughs> wings. So that was interesting. I felt like, oh, I can, I can grow beyond just being the mom in the show with, with the 
the kids. Never too late to keep growing. But we're right? back together again for this show, which I is know. fantastic. And she's playing a completely different role than I've ever seen her do. And I, I have to step back and not be mom and, right. uh, and not be, you know, not try to side direct. So that's another challenge. Well, <laughs> let, let's talk about mom. What is your role that you're playing? Uh, so my character has a very interesting name. Her name is Thorkas. Excuse me? It's Thorkas. How do you spell that? No, I thought you'd ask me that question. <laughs> D-O-R-K-A-S. And you can pronounce it however you want, but she's very sweet. Maybe not quite as bright as the others, but the one with the biggest heart. And it's so fun. It's so fun. I'm having so much fun. It's great. <laughs> this is a, a, a definite twist on the women of Troy. Think about that, the people in the audience, that you're actually putting Greek theater with Real Housewives. Reality so, television. Come on, yeah. you oh, got to come and see this. Well, it's been wonderful talking to Abby. Uh, again, this is Real Housewives of Troy, opening on September 9th, and it runs through the 25th uh, at the main theater in Old Town New Hall, put on by the Eclipse Theater. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. It was wonderful. Thank you.